Hi guys, it's me, it's Clues here. Hey, subscribers, it's Ethan here. Alright, it's about, well, uh, this week is the week of the Game Awards and the State of Play that's only just recently announced last week. So, for today, we're going to be doing two, predict uh, two predictions. We'll be predicting the State of Play, mm -hmm. and then we'll be predicting the Game Awards, but we're doing the Game Awards first because that's the bigger event this year, this time. Right. And then we'll go into the state of play afterwards because, yeah, at this point in the year, Sony's kind of, it was a translation year because of PlayStation 5, but uh, that doesn't mean, mean, mean it still wasn't bad. <laughs> uh, okay, so we're going to go backwards and then move our way upwards yep. words for the categories. We're going to be skipping a couple so we won't be going over every, every single one. But just a heads up. Yup, just to let you know. Alright, so I think we should start with strategy game. Yeah. Alright, so um up the nominees for Alexa Cancel. Uh, it doesn't listen sometimes. Anyways, uh cat uh nominees for best strategy games are you can tell him, bud. <laughs> One is Age of Wonders, Plant, Plant Fall, Ant, Anto, well, 18,000, 18, Fallen Three Houses, Total War Three Kingdoms, <laughs> Tropical Six, and War Grove. Now, this is the category, uh, now, this is the category of the year where, uh, where, Really, there's not really that much competition. In previous years, there has been, but literally the only one I can think of that even would actually have competition against is War Group, because I know for a fact the community loves that one. Yep. So honestly, I think even I think even stands a chance this year. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not gonna get too confident knowing knowing the sh game shows. They don't seem to treat cheap Amber very well, do they, bud? Yeah, I'm not going to get too confident, unfortunately. I have a little bit more confidence in him, but that could just be my Nintendo bias. <laughs> well, to be fair, though, I know game shows too much. Because of the stubborn judges or whoever's in charge must have did this. Easy there, bud. But on the blind side, it could be worse. 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 At least Call of Duty isn't in that category. Yeah, it's not a strategy game, you know. It was said the it was said the judges would think that. But it's just a strategy, not not shooting. Do you get the point? Hey, I got the point. Well, then stop talking about it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fair enough. All right. So, in addition, we're also going to be doing the actions. So, if Wagu wins. <laughs> and if he finally wins, oh. I'll be like, about time, you fools, for listening to me. <laughs> As you can tell, Ethan's been winding up. But I mean, Series 5, I'm getting to win the war for the longest time. <sighs> Ever since Faith got into 2006s. 16, you mean? 2016. Yep. Pardon. 2016. Which kind of crushed him to the point where he was crying. Uh, I just wish that people can listen to my face sometimes. <laughs> Easy with the pound of fandom there, bud. Sheesh. Uh, but you can tell that Ethan's really wanting one pound to win a war for one of these a game awards show, so fingers crossed. Either way, though, we still win because. Hey, at least people people who never tried Fire Emblem are trying it now. So I guess that's something some people got to be thankful for. Right. <laughs> All right. Next up, racing games. Sadly, no Team Sonic racing. Fiddlesticks. But in this one, we have Crash Bandicoot, uh, uh, Crash Team Racing, Nitro Fueled, Dirt Racing 2.0, EO Version Football, F. Uh, F one nineteen, and the obvious FIFA. You know, 
I would definitely predict that Crash Team Racing could take this category. I will not be shocked if FIFA wins because of the people out there who like that game. Me too. Too. I predict Crash though. Though. Although that could be a little bit of a damper because of Aquavision's fierce controversies. That's all I'm going to say. Right. Uh, so, I predict Crash, but here's hoping that doesn't hold them back. All right. The next one we're going to do... Score and music. Uh, so... I'll wait until you can get there. There it is. Alright, you can name them off, bud. Alright, so the best score of music will be... Co coverage of Hyrule, which is part of the Tendo, and it's, a, it's actually like an indie game. Death Stranding... Uh... Don't Make Cry 5, <laughs> Kingdom Hearts 3, <laughs> Sandra Wild Hearts. So, oh, if Cascade Howl wins, uh, if Dustami wins, really, really, no offense to the score and, and score and music in the game, guys, but. It's just like Buffalo the Wild to me. Where's the music? Next one is Don't Make Cry 5. Oh, that game does have a good, great soundtrack. It deserves to win. And Kingdom Hearts 3. That's some great, but not as great. Yeah. Honestly, I predict Don't Make Cry 5. I hope so for me, because I like Don't Make Cry 5. It's a great, great game. Very true. Okay, best RPG game aim. Uh, now, sadly, I, mean, I kind of feel like I'm almost loved as this category. But I'm not going to make any make any opinions because the judges, judges are the judges. Even though I picked the wrong on this one. I know, I know. Uh, <laughs> all right. Uh, we have Disco Elysium, Final Fantasy 14, not 15, 14, um, Kingdom Hearts 3, Monster Hunter World, and The Outer Worlds. Well, basically, what we mean is Monster Hunter World, Ice Blue, which is a part of the DLC. So, honestly, this is the kind of going to be a try between uh, Final Fantasy, Kingdom Hearts, uh, Monster Hunter World, and The Outer Worlds. All four, four of those have been very well received. Very critically acclaimed, and a lot of fans love it. Yup. So honestly, I'll be rooting for all of them, but my personal prediction? Iceborne, Monster Hunter World. Yeah, that one's gonna be like uh, one of those best games out there people really love. <laughs> what about you, buddy? Mm, I mean, sure, Kingdom Hearts does have a great game, but Coversity... Yeah, there's a little bit of controversy in terms of the story for... The I game. would say Monster Hunter, unfortunately. So, yeah. Um, and we'll get to that a little bit later in the video about, yep. uh, about controversies and stuff. Once we get to the... Yeah, well, you know, know what we're talking about, right, bud? Right. All right. So, next up, best ongoing game. And thankful and unfortunately, there's one title that me and Ethan were hoping wasn't back. Yep. That's in this category. <sighs> Tell them. Okay, so for the best ongoing game is Xbox Legends from Respawn. Good job, Respawn. Destiny 2. Good job for bringing up the Activision. Good job, guys. <laughs> F uh, Final Fantasy fourteen, Fortnite for trash. Tie! And finally, oh, like you, Tom Tom Clunny's Rainbow Six Surge from Ubisoft. Honestly, we were. I wasn't very happy when I saw Fortnite on that list. Mm -hmm. I would be expecting people to want that game to win it. If it wins, best ongoing game. Uh All right, right, judges. We need to have a talk talk about uh, about ongoing games here. Here, there's plenty of it in that category, but not that one. Nope. 
No, it isn't. Honestly, I predict either Fortnite or Destiny 2. I hope Destiny 2, actually, because I think Destiny 2 does have a great X-Pax. Oh, yes, definitely. Like, I love Destiny 2, so I'm predicting Destiny 2, but I'm also half predicting Fortnite. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't be too surprised. All right, best narrative, which I kind of think Thymon was also out of. Wow, I'll tell you something, though. Okay, again, I'll definitely react to the nominees after those choices. Mm. Just let you know. Mm. Alright, so we have A Pug's Tale Innocent, Control, Death Stranding. Now, if you're wondering why Death Stranding is so many of these categories, heads up, the guy, guy who runs the show, show has a bit of a bias towards Kojima. Just a heads up. <laughs> Uh, Disco of Elysium and The Outer Worlds. Honestly, the only one I can see winning this category is The Outer Worlds. Yeah, Outer Worlds definitely, but you know, if Death Stranding actually wins because of the story, no offense to the host. I know you love the guy so much, but it's like you really want to spoil the guy. No offense. If you really want to spoil him, Okay, fine, fine. Be the rich guy. How's that? <laughs> Even a little bit like it, you can't tell. <laughs> uh, I'm not disrespecting the Kojima course. No way. It's just that, you know, I feel like he's spoiling him too much, in my opinion. I don't. I don't want him. Uh, anyways, ways, so now we have best game direction. Now, here's a couple ca games that me and Ethan know for a fact will, it will act actually win. We have Control. Oh, this is you. Control. Death Stranding. <laughs> Resident Evil 2. Shackle Shadow Dice twice. Our Worlds. Out of Wilds. Out of Wilds. <laughs> uh, honestly, this one's a tough one. Uh, I actually haven't played any of those games, unfortunately. So I not... did play Resident Evil 2 myself. So, what do you think? You think it has the best game direction, bud? I'm going to give it to Resident Evil 2 on this one. Fair enough. Fair enough. I guess I'll go with you then. Okay. Best fighting game. Now, me and Ethan have already predicted, predicted in the winner in this. Well, honestly, there is one game I wanted to win, but I doubt it win. I will definitely predict is... One Civic game, it's gonna be announced. We're gonna tell you right now. Alright, so we have. <clears throat> I'll do put, put on our best announcer voices for this. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Dead or Alive! Six. <clears throat> Jump Force! <clears throat> More Combat! Eleven! <laughs> Samurai Su. Soul down. Mm -mm. I got this one. Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. Uh, of course. So uh, the winner, I could expect a win will be <sighs> Super, Super Smash, Smash Bros. Bros. And I definitely want one game to win that category is Jump Force, but <laughs> something that tells me they're not gonna give it to him. And I'll be shocked if they do. Yeah, I know. Uh, but, yeah. All right. Best family game. Okay, you got this category, bud. And this is basically all Nintendo, guys. So, Nintendo's going away with a, a win in this one, regardless. Mm-hmm. So, basically, it's Luigi's Mansion 3, <laughs> Reading Fit Adventure, Mario Maker 2, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, and Yoshi's Crafted World. Honestly, this one's a tough one. Honestly, I definitely want we free ring fit adventure to win because it had some cool aspects that actually make you exercise. No, we're not lying about that either. <laughs> Honest. Yep. So I would give it to Ring Fit Adventure, but I think Super Smash Bros. would steal a spy. No I'm kidding. That one we just mentioned free. That one was good too. Alright. 
next one we have is hmm best audio design. Oh wait, hold on, community support first. Uh, I said community support. I'm looking for it. There it is. Alright, you go ahead and name them, bud. The best community support will be Xbox Legends, Disney 2, Final Fantasy 14, Fortnite, and Tom Glennie's Rainbow Six Surge. Honestly, this one better go to Destiny 2. Uh, Destiny 2. The community has rallied behind Destiny even when Aquavision was with them. Yup, so I gotta say, Bungie, you made the wise choice, in my opinion. Wise. You're wise. I have my fingers crossed for you guys. <laughs> you guys did even good job with, with Halo, honestly. Yes, they used to be the makeup of the Halo. Fun fact. <laughs> I know my facts, guys. All right, but I swear, if this one goes to Fortnite too, I hate to say it, but people are actually been renting about what happened one time. It's when the first season actually got over for a few days of the black hole thing. It was canceled down because we thought the game was over, but then after that, we knew Epic Games are gonna do something like this. See, I told you guys it's not end of the end of the game. I told you that. Yet. Yeah, I was like, yes! And then after that, I'm like, get me out of here! <laughs> as you can tell, even as a strong, and I do mean strong, hey, for Fortnite, then I do. Mm -hmm. Even though I do hate the game a lot, even it's so much more. But, <laughs> anyways, now on to best audio design. Okay. Now, this one has two games in addition to, no offense, Death Standing. There's another one that we are not really happy about. All right, I'll talk about these. Call of Duty Modern Warfare, Control, Death Standing, Gears 5, Shocker. Shocker, no, literally. Um, Resident Evil 2, and Shekel Shadows Die Twice. Mmm. You know, I do feel like Resident Evil does have a good audio. Also, Shackro. But I don't get there some of them. But, like, Death Stranding. Uh, like, what in the world are you guys putting that game in there for? Uh, uh, I wouldn't know Control, control so I can't tell. But I can tell you that Gears 5 does have some good audio, so, yeah. I swear, though, if Call of Duty wins this one, guys... I, I know you guys have been boycotting lately, but you're not helping all costs here. Yeah, no offense. <laughs> all right, now we have best art direction. In this category, I, I'll let Ethan talk about. Yeah, just let me get there in a second. <laughs> uh, <laughs> there it is. All right, go ahead, bud. Best art, dis art direction would be Control. Death Stranding, <laughs> Gurus, I don't know what that is, Sandra Wild Hearts, Shack Rose Shell Dice Twice, and The Legends of Wink's Link Wakening. Honestly, I think we are given a buff in the wild. I think it's safe to say that Zelda's gonna pretty much sweep this category. Yeah, I can see that it would do well, but the problem is knowing that. Game show hopefully isn't that stubborn to give that one civic game that shouldn't got in the game awards in the first place. My own personal opinion. <laughs> <laughs> because there's a few people in the community that actually don't like it as much as some of you do. Some of you like it because of Kurochima, of course. Easy. I'm trying. Sorry, guys. It's a little hard to control Ethan here in this video. <laughs> I'm trying my hardest, though. Anyways, so next up we have Action Adventure. <whistles> this one's a tough one, really. At least that's standing actually has some competition this time. Mm -hmm. We have Borderlands 3, Control, Death Stranding, 
Resident Evil 2, The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening, and Shekel Shadows Died Twice. Probably a tie between Death Standing and Borderlands. Yeah, I mean, Borderlands may be a great game and all, you know. But, I mean, I don't know if the community actually loves it or dislike it. Who knows? Yep. Uh, uh, as for Link's Awakening, Awakening, yeah, I don't think Nintendo will sweep this one. Zelda strong, but not that strong. <laughs> That's for sure. Alright, action game. Uh, we have Aspect Legends, Absolute yeah. Chain, Call of Duty, Devil May Cry 5, Gears 5, and Metro X Earth. Woo! Uh, you know, I would have definitely given to either Devil May Cry 5 or Astral Chain. Same here. Gears 5 for me, me as I had a bonus. But if Call of Duty wins this category... God, I, think I think they're diving into their nostalgic... A little too strongly. Yep, that's why. Ugh, seriously. All right, and we finally got to the final category. Well, that we'll talk about. Game of the year. And some one of the disappointment. Oh, okay, okay, actually, I should hold that off. <laughs> uh, uh, we have Control, Death Standing, Resident Evil 2, Shekels die twice, Shadows die twice, Super Smash Brothers, and the Outer Worlds. Hmm. In the game of the year? Oh, you know. Okay, so Resident Evil 2 did win at the jo gold, uh, Golden Joysticks. I know that won the game of the year. Of Ultimate, I mean. Mm hmm. So, it has a chance here, too. But we'll see. It's up against Death Standing out of all things. So I would say between Resident Evil 2 or Super Smash Bros. One of the two. Uh, personally. Now, Ethan's gonna... Ethan does have a couple complaints about the Game of the Awards, but I think we'll see that for a separate video after the Game Awards, depending on how this goes. Mm-hmm. Uh, but either way, let's just say that Ethan's not a happy. Let's just say, I can say the nominees, that's it. Let's say the nominees, I would say, when I found out, I was like, wow, guys, wow. Are you really saying that Final isn't good enough for you? Is that what you're trying to say? You should be ashamed of yourselves. You know, Death Stranding, another thing I'm confused about, the fan base. They literally just don't like it and the people like it. <laughs> What's up with this world? Sometimes. What's up with this world? See, that was a pure example of why we said I needed a simple video. <laughs> and you know what? I'm going to tell you guys. This is the most disappointment nominees I ever seen in my entire life. Again, another example. Ethan, yeah, this is just Ethan Calm, uh, Ethan, e Ethan calmly seeing this. So. Just wait until he does a separate video. Oh, that mode activate. Yep. Uh, but yeah. So, uh, all right. That's all for Game of the Year. Uh, 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 the Game Awards this year. Now let's get on to hmm. the, you know, state of play. Yep. As you guys have known, Sony started to do Nintendo Direct-like presentations this year. Almost too you close. Mean last year. The, the Game of War predictions for this year, bud. Oh, yeah. Sorry, guys. We've been recording some special videos for next year. Let's just say that. <laughs> I don't want to worry. We're actually cutting this part. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, but, anyways... Ways. Uh, like I was say, like we were saying. Um, so this year, Sony has been doing a pretty bad job. I know it's a translation year for the PlayStation Five, so I expected bad, but I didn't expect it to be this bad. Mm -hmm. uh, um, honestly, if you want a summary of what uh, what I honestly feel, check out Gamespot's review about about the Sony's year. They could pretty much sum it up in one year. Not that the year was bad for Sony, it still was pretty good, but 
It's clear that focus is on PlayStation 5. Not that for PlayStation 3, 2, and 1 what focused it either, but it I've never seen Sony lose this much focus. <laughs> Honestly. But either way, the state of play, lastly, were garbage. Oh, except for one. It's the second one. Thank now that I would agree that one's the best. But the other two Trash. Uh so this one in particular this is pretty much Sony's uh uh Blast hope, and we'll explain that again in another video talking about Sony's future. Yep. Sony haters, please hold your pitchforks. <laughs> and so, Sony lovers, also please hold your pitchforks. <laughs> Sorry, guys. There's two sides of the fan base, and some of them are extreme. So I gotta say that. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, one of the things that we heard. Ghost of Tsushima's playlist on the YouTube PlayStation channel was updated recently. Oh, boy. If that's true, make it true! The <laughs> Re reason why I say is that is Ghost of Tsushima is a game made by our pals at Sucker Punch. Yeah, the same people who made Ethan's, one of Ethan's childhood platformers, Sly Cooper. Yup. Which still needs to come back, by the way. Well, I just hope Ghost of Shima makes up for it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but we have not heard anything from the game in the last year. Well, thanks to these three, three, Sony last time they just go on E3 and then after that they go, okay, we're ditching out, we're ditching out E3. Of course they're gonna ditch out E3 because they're making plans for the PlayStation Five. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. True. If those plans for the PlayStation Five go through. Well, that is. Uh, but anyway, so... Oh, our, our predictions? Well, Ghost of Tsushima is one of them, but honestly... We don't know. Uh, I bet you they're going to put some v future PlayStation VR games. And I have a prediction that we're going to see some of the previous stuff that we announced. And I definitely expect to see Final Fantasy there in one way or the other. But other than that... Uh, I'll be in for another disappointment. Here we go. Uh, yeah, so only real prediction is Ghost of Tsushima. That's it. Uh, so, yeah. All right, that's all really for... Oh, wait, there was one more thing we wanted to talk about. And that's... Get ready for this. IGN's Game Awards. Right. Shocking. Yes, you heard me. Early. You know that me and Ethan are not big fans. Well, actually, all of gaming pretty much is not big fans of IGN. Even though the most of the fan base over there is PlayStation biased. Yep. Seriously, even a decent Nintendo fan can't get, get a comment in without being hated on. Right. <sighs> but IGN has had their own Game Awards. awards. Uh, currently, they're only hosting polls at the moment. But... We thought we'd check in to see how they compared to the actual Game Awards that are happening since they're literally the biggest publication in the history of gaming. Mm -hmm. So, the game nominees currently are... Resident Evil 2 Remake, Slay the Spear, Shackle of Shadows Die Twice, The Outer Wilds, Yep. Found them three houses. Oh, come on, guys. Control. Legend of Zelda. Link's Awakening. Disco Eslam. The Outer Worlds. Pokemon Zone and Shield, which I have a good feeling is not going to win this one due to that controversy. Yep. Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. And there's a couple more. Um, The Outer Worlds. Asu Chain, Gear, Gears 5, Devil May Cry 5, uh, War Groove, Aspect Legends, Mortal Kombat 11, Steam World Quest, Borderlands 3, Total War Kingdom, Beat Saber, Bloodstained Ritual of the Night, Death Standing, the uh, Phew, this is a mouthful. Uh, Dragon Quest 2, uh, Builders 2, After Party, Alcalus Wrath, and Invincible. Woo! That was a mouthful. Mm -hmm. And that's just the first category. Yep. Okay, so currently in the lead, we have... Oh, shoot. What, what, what? 
at the at the moment, guys, last time me and Ethan checked this, it was Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. But guess who took the lead? Death Stranding. <laughs> no comment. <laughs> Yeah, Ethan doesn't want that one to win. He'll even take Star Wars, Star Wars of anything. Yes, because that game is just... To me, that is something that I would definitely give a spot they deserve. Fair in enough. a good way. Now, we won't go into best PlayStation games because I think Death Standard is going to win that by a sweep. So, we'll go into best Switch exclusives. Which is I do not understand, by the way. Um, uh, I'm sorry, that's just because... Uh, but anyways, so, for this one, we have Fire Emblem Fe uh, Asses, yep. Pokemon Sword and Shield, Luigi's Mansion 3, Super Mario Maker 2, um, Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. Ooh, that's it? Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm kind of surprised. I'm kind of surprised it didn't. Hmm? Uh, we're going to cut this part, guys. Wake me up when this is over. Oh, so you're already up. Come on, get, come on, buddy. Don't fall, fake fall asleep. <laughs> Anyways, for best Nintendo exclusive, currently winning. Whoa, by a landslide, found the three houses. Yeah, you see, people? You see what they're, they're saying to you? I bet the almost the rest of the game shows just... This. Oh, yeah, I'll tell you something, guys. Oh, I want to tell you something. Real quick, last couple of years, we already know our actual winners, like Legends of Breath of the Wild, God of War. We know those games are going to be the game of, we, game, of, game of the years of the rest of the gaming shows. Richers as well. But other than that, this year, it's confusing. Because you guys are not making your own minds up. Uh, all right. So we have the best action game, and in this category we have Double May Cry Five. Oh, I love that game. Shackle. Kazuma Zero. I don't know what that game is. <laughs> Astro Chain. Yup. Ape Out, and that's it. And currently winning this category is Shackle Shell Dice Twice. Closely followed by Double May Cry Five. Hmm, interesting choice. Yep. All right, we have best action adventure game. Oh, by the way, if you're looking at one of the other ones, like Game Informers, that I would go over that one too in this video. But we literally be here here for two hours if we were to go over that list. So <laughs> I only chose IGN. Anyways, for best action adventure, we have Resident Evil Two Remake. I played for sure. Link's Awakening. Control. Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order, Luigi's Mansion 3, and that is it. And Fallen Order is winning. <laughs> All right, nice. All right, now we have, hmm. Oh, best adventure game, Sai. Mm -hmm. We have, in this category... The Outer Wilds, After Party, Concrete Genie, Absorption, 
out of the slim files, and that is it. And the winner so far is, in terms of the poll, out of wild. Wow. Oh, honestly, I don't even know that game, but now after hearing that, I'm going to have to check it out. Yeah. Eventually. Okay. Uh, for best puzzle game, and this is actually... Uh, actually, one of the games in here is actually quite funny, and I, every time I hear about it, I get more curious. Untitled Goose Game. Oh, that game's been mentioned a lot, I told you, man, lately. Uh, Baba is you. Baba is you! I <laughs> that was funny, Tyler. Like, where we come up with that title, that's funny. No. Oh. Uh, Super Lemio, um, Grindstone, Met for Garden, and that's it. And I think. Yep. I knew it. That's no surprise. Untitled Goose Game is winning by a landslide. Given the fact that that game is so silly, it's not even funny. Yep. <laughs> well, it's funny, but you get the picture. Uh, okay, so in the shooter, we have... Expects that. Legend. Rage 2. Borderlands 3. Gears 5. Huh. What's a lot of numbers with the shooters lately? <laughs> Who knows? Call of Duty, Duty Infinite... Uh, Modern yep. Warfare. It's okay. And winner so far? Can't say I'm shocked. It's Co because they're nostalgic. Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. Nostalgic. I Did I say infinite? I meant modern. Yeah. Why do I have one of the worst Call of Duty games in my head? I don't know. Maybe it's because you kept talking about it. I'm kidding. <laughs> Okay, best RPG. We have The Outer Worlds, Disco Elsalem, Pokemon Sword and Shield, Kingdom Hearts 3, Dragon Quest Builders 2, and that is it. And. Whoa! Surprisingly, The Outer Worlds! Honestly, I was expecting uh, Kingdom Hearts 3. No kidding. Best platformer. Mainly my category. Uh. Super Mario Maker 2, Yoko Lally, My Fun Pedalo, Blanston Literal of the Night, and Bluffless. And this winner so far is. Figures. Super Mario Maker 2. That doesn't surprise me. Not even. Best Strategy in RPG. Now, this one should not shock either of us. Okay. Slay the Spear, Found of Free Houses, Steam World Quest, War Groove. Total War of Free Kingdoms, and the winner so far is... Bob Three ba Houses. Now, this should be the result we should see at the Game Awards. Ah, please, for the sake of it, if this is true, make it true. Alright, best fighting game. I think we know this category, put it on. Ah, uh, yeah, I know the obvious winner is gonna be. Hmm. <laughs> Mortal Kombat 11, Samurai Showdown. Fire Rangers, Battle for the Grind. Thanks. I hate that series so much I can't even say. Fantasy Strike, Dead or Alive 6. No Smash Brothers? Huh. Oh. And no uh, Jump Force either. <laughs> oh, wait. That's right. Last year. I keep forgetting IGN does it different. Shockingly, Fantasy Strike! And I actually own that game on Switch, so... Um... I honestly was expecting out of all of these to be Mortal Kombat 11 or Samurai Showdown. Or Dead or Alive 6. Maybe because of the diversity of Mortal Kombat, I'm assuming. Yeah, and SNK is underrated. And Dead or Alive 6... I don't need to speak about that one. Oh, Lord, I would get mad! <laughs> uh, but yeah. Best uh, racing game. Okay, so we have Rockfest, Crash Team Racing, Need for Speed Heat, Dirt, uh, Dirt Valley, Cloud, and that's it. And the winner so far, not shocking, Crash. All right, and the last one that I care about, well, okay, last three we care about. All right, so we have Best Ongoing Game, Aspect Legends. Final Fantasy XIV, Monster on the Wall, Rainbow Six Surge, Destiny 2, and so far... Monster Hunter World. Huh. Not, not bad. Not bad choice. Alright. 
At least there's no foot in here in this category, eh, hey, bud? That's what I would be. <laughs> Art design. Ooh, this is tough. Control. Untitled Goose Game. Disco Elf Swarm. So, uh, Wild Arts. Death Stranding. And. What? What? Are you serious? Okay, you they put one of those games I'm confused about what people think about this game. I know one game specifically. It's a particularly death stranding. <sighs> well, at least it's only best art design. <laughs> All right, best music and design. So, Wild Hearts, death stranding again. Ape Out, Untitled Goose Game, Cause Zero, and the winner is... What in the world you guys thinking? Death Stranding again! Guys! Guys, you need to get your head checked. Check. That's twice in a row! Whoa! Whoa! First Breath of the Wild, now this? This feels deja vu all over again, does Yeah, I mean, again, I'll try all the games. Is, but I more like that because of the fan base. Because fan base is confusing me sometimes. Or even I even heard that one guy right over we pure our games. That one guy specifically, he said that, ga that game was boring to him for like six or seven hours. So, and, he, and he canceled his pre order because of it. Thanks. Alright, we have control. Call of Duty Modern Warfare, Resident Evil 2 Remake, Luigi's Mansion 3, Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order for Best Game Sound Design. Thankfully, no Death Stranding in this one. And the winner so far... Star Wars! Now that's true. Alright, and finally, Best Game Story. We have Control, The Outer Worlds, Discord Elslum, Outer Wilds, Final Fantasy 14, and the final one is. The what? Outer Worlds. With Control closely behind. So, so far, so good. Good. That game of the year better not be Death Stranding. Hey guys, you probably don't know this, but a word of advice. Advice. The idea, uh, for some reason, the idea in comment section. Base, seems to be completely PlayStation biased. And I'll tell you something though. Again, I'm trying not to stranding, but to be honest with you, I'll see why people say it's boring, or some people say they like it. What's so good? What's you see? Sony's got their own mix, mix games this year. Not the best year, honestly. Probably the. Second or worst I've seen the uh, uh, company be. I would say I would say 2017 is actually way better than this. Even 18 had its perks. Uh, 18 is not as bad as this year's, in but, my own personal book. Yeah, but yeah, it was translation year for PlayStation 5, so I'm not too shocked. But even Microsoft had a better year, and I'd say a lot. Mm -hmm. Uh, but yeah, so just hoping the Game Awards go go well for me and Ethan for the world premiere. And the state of play, state of the place too. Yeah, I'm not gonna get my hopes high on the game awards though. Dead air, buddy. Remember, the real one, one is getting fans to know the series. We'll get there someday. Once the once we have stop stop having biased gamers. I wish. I wish. We'll see. Hey, hey you know I always support five of them no matter what. Oh, yeah. All right. That's all for now, guys. Thank you for tuning in to this Game Awards prediction and say the play prediction. This is yours truly, User Clues. Ethan, signing out. And y'all have a nice game night.